it's here again. Another week, another build. Apple just released iOS 26.1 Beta 3, and while it's not a major overhaul, it's one of those subtle updates that remind you how much the little details matter. This version first landed for developers, coming in at around 2GB on the iPhone 15 Pro, and it arrived alongside matching updates for iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, and even VisionOS. So, if you're fully immersed in Apple's ecosystem, there's a lot waiting for you to update this week. In Settings, General, About, you'll now see the new build number, 23B5064E. There's also an updated modem firmware, and a few carriers have quietly rolled out small network tweaks. Nothing dramatic, but you might notice a slightly steadier signal and quicker reconnections. If you head to Settings, Privacy and Security, there's a new hidden addition worth noting. You can now view exactly when background security updates were installed, Karen, and even remove or restart them right from your iPhone. No Mac, no Finder, no iTunes. Just tap, roll back, and move on. It's a small change, but it could be a real game changer once iOS 26.1 goes public. There's a new addition tucked under General Local Capture. Previously, you could only add the Local Capture toggle to Control Center. Now, you can choose where your recordings are saved and even switch to audio-only mode. It's a thoughtful touch, great for journalists, podcasters, or anyone who needs to record calls or meetings without juggling multiple apps. Apple's clearly giving users more freedom, while still keeping things simple and clean. The Liquid Glass interface also got another quiet upgrade, and yes, you can spot it if you look closely. The dock, folders, and system menus now appear a bit more transparent, moving away from the heavier frosted style of Beta 2. It feels smoother, more refined, and unmistakably Tahoe-inspired. It's one of those visual tweaks that doesn't shout for attention, but once you see it in motion, you can't unsee it. Some users have mentioned strange reflections in folders with lots of icons, though minor quirks that should disappear by the final release. Go to Settings, Accessibility, Touch, then scroll to the bottom. You'll find a new option called Prefer Single Touch Actions. This lets you trigger certain controls with just one tap instead of a swipe. It's a small but thoughtful addition, making gestures feel quicker and smoother, especially on larger screens. And that slide to cancel alarm introduced in Beta 2? It's been redesigned. The slider is now wider, more balanced, and visually cleaner. A tiny detail, but at six in the morning, half asleep and reaching for your phone, that smoother motion makes all the difference. Developers digging through the new build have already uncovered some intriguing hints of what's next. Inside the code, Apple is laying the groundwork for third-party AI integrations. Soon, you might be able to choose between ChatGPT, Gemini, or other models directly within Apple Intelligence. There are also traces of notification forwarding, letting your iPhone send alerts to non-Apple wearables, like a Pixel Watch or other smart devices. Another discovery points to native spyware alerts. If your iPhone ever detects a potential compromise, it will notify you immediately. And finally, a new wallpaper description surfaced in the system files ethereal currents of vibrant light flowing into serene darkness. Sounds like another elegant liquid glass moment is on the way. Alongside this beta, Apple quietly rebranded Apple TV Plus to simply Apple TV. The app icon now has deeper colors and sharper edges, giving it a cleaner, more polished look. It could be a sign of something bigger, maybe a new home-focused Apple TV device on the horizon. So yes, you'll soon be watching Apple TV on Apple TV. A confusing name, but a very sleek experience. And one more quiet goodbye. Apple Clips is officially gone. The short-form video app has been removed from the App Store, and Apple confirmed it won't receive any more updates. A silent farewell to what was once an experimental, creative little tool. A few bugs have been fixed in this update, including the shortcuts control center issue, where the app settings toggle didn't work before. It's now fully functional again but the wallpaper dimming bug is still around. Your lock screen may slightly desaturate or darken when you return to the home screen. According to Apple's notes, a few known issues remain. The AirDrop icon in the share sheet can show small visual glitches, and using lock screen apps like Calculator or Notes may cause the device to sleep unexpectedly. Apple's temporary solution? 
just wake the screen and reopen the app. Classic beta advice. Overall, this build feels a bit inconsistent. Scrolling and navigation are smooth, but searching in the app library can show slight delays, and some animations hesitate for just a split second before finishing. It's not unresponsive, just a little uncertain at times. The good news? Thermal performance is excellent. The iPhone 15 Pro, with its vapor chamber cooling, stays cool even under heavy use. A clear example of Apple's hardware and software working perfectly together. Battery performance always takes a few days to settle, but early signs look promising. After about 3 hours and 10 minutes of screen time, the phone used only 62% of its charge, roughly the same as on the public 26.0.1 build. Storage management also improved. Apple Intelligence now occupies around 4 gigabytes less than before, freeing up a bit more space. As for benchmarks, results landed at 3,879 for single-core and 9,489 for multi-core. It's a small drop compared to Beta 2, but that's normal while the system re-indexes in the background. Give it a few days, and those numbers should rise again. So, should you update? If you're already running Beta 2, then yes, Beta 3 feels stable enough for everyday testing and feedback. But if you're still on the public 26.01 build, it's better to wait for the rumored 26.02 patch instead. And remember, never install a beta just to fix a bug. That's exactly what stable releases are made for.